Uh, fentanyl had a real medical use for a long time. Now, you deal with emergencies, and when did we or you become aware of the crisis, and how long did it take before you realized that this was so out of control in the public? The emergency department is the canary in the coal mine for society's problems. In 2015, illicit fentanyl hit the market, the drug market, but it was not as bad as the opioid prescription crisis. And in 2019, we were finally getting a handle on the opioid prescription problem, and boom, illicit fentanyl superseded anything we ever dealt with with prescription opioids. When the pandemic hit, I was covered head to toe with PPE standing by for the expected tsunami of COVID patients, and I was really nervous to intubate my first COVID patients. But my first pandemic intubation was not COVID. It was a young girl who overdosed on a <coughs> fake fentanyl pill, and tragically, she died. In San Diego, where I practice, we're close to the border where drugs are flowing in and our medical examiners reporting two and a half deaths a day of fentanyl, and that is indeed out of control. And as um, Mr. Carroll said, it's the number one cause of death, ages 18 to 45, according to Families Against Fentanyl.